All right, Shalom, another GMS on the go back with another lesson. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakodash. Next, double honors to the head apostles and elders of Great Millstone, the ones that taught me the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere items. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith. Regardless of people here, forbear. Pretty much a message for all you heathen nations, man. Captivity is coming. You know, you ran, you ran your course, you know, you lived in prosperity, you had the finer things in life, you you ruled over the Hebrew Israelites, enough captivities, different empires, you, you, you had your fun, <laughs> you did your thing, as they say in the hood, you, you did your thing, but now the message is, get ready for slavery, you see, that's, that's the message, man, that's the cold, hard truth. The scriptures say the truth shall make you free. That, that's why they want this truth off the internet. Remember, this word is a fire. And, and, and this people would. And it shall devour them. Let's, let's get this first, though. And, and then I'm going to come right back. I'm going to come right back to that scripture. This is Jeremiah. Chapter 30. I'm going to hop right into it. You know. All right to it. Let's, let's, let's blow it up. So, so everybody can see. Let's highlight it. You know. We're going to highlight it. Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 16. A message for all you nations. Now, you heathen nations. Okay? Therefore, all they, not, not some, not one, not two, all they that devour thee shall not, I, I might do it, I, I think about it, you know, give me a week or two to think about it. No, 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 this is the Heavenly Father speaking. Therefore, all they that devour thee shall be devoured. Totally consumed, right? Look, 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 and all thine adversaries. Every one of them shall go into captivity. What is captivity? Slavery. This is the message for all you nations. An early morning lesson for all you nations shall go into captivity. And they that spoiled thee, everything that y'all took from us. Look, that's what you see taking place as I make this video. Everything that you, when you watch the news, when you see what's going on throughout the four corners of the earth, when you see what's going on here in America, the lockdowns, the shutdowns, it's all leading up to these nations being devoured and eventually going into captivity, going into slavery. It, it ain't no way around it. And all they, they spoil thee, they rob us of everything. Not just Edom, but all the other nations, right? Shall be a spoil. Everything they stole from us, look, the Lord's gonna take it right back from them. They're gonna vomit it up, right? And all that pray upon thee to this day, they're still praying upon our people. You know? And who's our people? The Negroes, Latinos, Native American Indian descent, the Hebrew Israelites, right? Will I give for a prey? And I will restore health unto thee. And I will heal thee. Of thy wounds, said the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. That seems impossible to the natural man that the Lord can take us out of the state that we're in. Our people through right about now. That the Lord can actually heal us and deliver us from this predicament. It seems ludicrous to the natural man, but a spiritual man know that these things are always possible. With Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, said the Lord. The Lord is saying he's going to heal us. Because they called thee an outcast, saying, This is Zion, this is supposed to be a monument, who no man seek it out. But it's going it's to be a beautiful thing. It's going to be a beautiful thing, man. You know. The kingdom is going to be a million times greater than it was during Solomon's rule. During King Solomon's rule. During King David's rule. It's going to be a million times better, man. And during King Solomon's rule, you know what I'm saying? Look, look, no, no other nation troubled us. 
But but I, but I, I made a point, so I want to bring it out right quick. This is Jeremiah chapter five. They need these nations hate this message. But of, of course you're gonna hate hate a message that 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 doesn't um talk about anything good happening to you. Of course. This is Jeremiah chapter five verse fourteen. Wherefore, thus saith the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, power of hosts, Lord of armies, because ye speak. This word, remember, we speak in the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh which represents the light, right? Because you speak this word, behold, I will make my words and thy mouth fire. So we speak, we spit in hot lava when we read these words, right? And this people would. You nations are compared unto wood. This word is compared unto fire. And it shall devour them. That's why. That's why you got sleaze of ease just going crazy. Come see me then. If I'm eat them, come see me then. Cause why? This word is a fire. It's burning them up. See, see one thing about it. Israel ain't going into captivity anymore. Let's get lamentation right quick. The fourth chapter. Let's get that. I'm just rolling in the spirit early this morning, man. It's a time and a season for every purpose up under the sun. It was a time for us to go down and go into captivity. Now we're living in a time where the Lord's about to raise us up. You know. Let's blow, let's blow it up. Let's blow it up. I brought the scripture out the other day, but I'm going to bring it out again. Rejoice and be glad. Lamentations 4.21. Rejoice and be glad. O daughter of Edom, you sleaze of mice. You sleazy ease. You, you better rejoice right about now. The Lord said all those that devoured us shall be devoured. You're supposed to be having a time of your life. And then the Lord gave you a crappy deal anyway. Look at look at your corporation. It's circling in the drain. Everybody in a damn house. The joy and the mirth of this place is gone. Which the Lord said that in Isaiah. You know, Isaiah the 24th chapter. He said we're going to take the mirth out of this place and you see it's happening. Look, look, hope you nations had your fun. Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom, that dwell us in the land of us. Code name for America, right? The cup, meaning slavery, also shall pass through unto thee. Thou shalt be drunken. Y'all got to drink the dreads of it, just like we drunk it. Thou shalt be drunken and shall make thyself naked. Listen to this though. This is, a, this is a beautiful part for us. The punishment of thine iniquity is accomplished. O daughter of Zion, that monument, remember that monument that we just read about in Jeremiah the 30th chapter? The these nations say, oh yeah, this is supposed to be a monument. Look at them. They're in the ghetto. They're on drugs. They're at the bottom. It's all by design. But the Lord said he's going to heal us. And because way better than we used to be. It's going to be beautiful too. The whole process is beautiful. Oh, daughter of Zion, he would no more carry thee away into captivity. We ain't going into slavery anymore. It's a beautiful thing. Only thing we're going to be saying is, oh, happy days in the kingdom. And putting you nations to work. He will visit thine iniquity. Oh, daughter of Edom and you other heathen nations. We just read in Jeremiah the 30th chapter. All they that devour thee shall be devoured. All you nations are going ahead for us into captivity. He will discover thy sins. The whole process, man. The whole process. Look, the Lord's about to get down on you nations, man. You, you know, look, you, you know, you know, you know, you touch the apple of his eye. Was is Micah right? Micah chapter five. Listen to this. Micah chapter 5 verse 15. Let me highlight it so you can see. Once you net want all you nations to see. You say the God of the Bible is all love, love, right? Love your enemy, right? You don't even understand that scripture. But listen to this. Micah chapter 5 verse 15. And I will execute vengeance and anger and fury upon the heathens. This is the Lord speaking. This is the heavenly father speaking, man. Who you eagerly call God the most high Yahweh? He is. He exists. 
the one that you sleaze of mice and you other heathen. They just don't look look, y'all he y'all got Buddha, y'all got Allah, y'all got Santa Maria, y'all got the Hindu god of Shiva and all this other nonsense, man. The Dagon, the fish god, Dagon, y'all got all that. And and, and then you know, the thing about it, can't none of them gods save you because they ain't real. All the gods of the nations are idols. So who the hell are you going to get help from when the Lord start whooping your ass, man? And I will ask you vengeance. And the Lord said he's not a man that he should lie. In anger and fury upon the heathen. Look, a message for you heathen nations. A message for the nations, man. Such as they have not heard. The Lord going to put a real whooping, whooping on your ass, man. Straight up. And, and you're going to have to bear it. And you're going to have to bear it. That's the thing about it. And you're going to have to bear it. It ain't no way of, get, ain't no way of getting around it. You can't run from it. it. Nowhere to run. Nowhere to hide. The angels see you. So, so the, Lord, the second the Lord take this place down. You nations, man. Y'all have seen y'all last day in pleasure. The second this place goes down, man. This is Exodus 21. Go straight to 16. Um, remember, a message to you nations. Exodus 21, 16. And he that stilleth a man and selleth him is evident. And it's evidence that the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans were, were showing up stolen. And they were sold, right? He that still for men and sell of him, remember them auction and blocks, it was all fun, right, when it was happening to us, right? Everybody was rejoicing when we went head first into captivity, right? Or if he be found in his hand, remember the prey the part of not? Remember the prey the part of not? Who is the prey? Us Israelites. We're still in captivity, right? The scripture said, or if he be found in his hand, the people that's holding us captive, that never let us free, right? He shall surely Meaning, truly, he shall truly, surely be put to death. This is how the Lord is going to get down. This is how the Lord is getting ready to get down. You stole us. You sold us. Look, look, we're still in captivity. But the Lord said, look, when I come back, you still hold them up. You got you to just think about that. You kidnap a person's child. And then they finally catch up to you years later. And the first thing you say is, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You, you think a man going to want to hear that? You really think a man's going to want to hear you say, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And you have kidnapped their kids for years on top of years on top of years and treated them like shit. He shall surely be put to death. Look, look cap, capital D. Capital D, man. Truly, surely he shall be put to death. I wake up thinking about these scriptures every day, man. And, and two thirds, two thirds, the Lord's going to destroy you soon. Come. So, so you just get ready too. Two thirds of you Israelites, y'all got to go. Isaiah 14. We'll start at one. For the Lord will have mercy. Let me, let me highlight it for, for some people that can't see. For the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahushua will have mercy on Jacob, the Israelites, and yet will choose Israel, same people, and set them in their own land. This is what's getting ready to happen. See, what you see going on right now is leading up to this scripture being fulfilled. But this scripture right here hasn't been fulfilled yet. Everything that you see going on is leading up to this. The Lord's going to set the Israelites, starting off with the elect of the nation of Israel. Lord willing, we part of that whole for number. He's going to set them in their own land. Because pursuant to Micah 2 and 10, this is not our rest, right? Woe to that bloody city. It is all full of lies and robbery. The prey the part of not remember. This is not our rest. The Lord's going to sit us in our own land. And the strangers, Israelite foreigners, shall be joined with them. And they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. And the people shall take them and bring them to their place. And the house of Israel, let me highlight it, and the house of Israel shall possess them. When you possess something, that means you own it. You know. When you possess something, that means you own it. Let's get as a matter of fact, let's get that right quick. Let's get a definition for possess. Let's get possess right quick. 
Did I, did I spell it right? Let me let me go back. I want, I want to see if I spelled it right. P O S S E S S. P O E. Let me go back. Bear with me. Now, now look at this. Ain't this song? Now, now we just read possess, right? Let's, let's get it. Let's get it right. Now we just read possess, right? It's a verb. Look at that. Have as belonging to one own. You see that? You see, you see that, Israel? You see that? Look, look. We're going to own these people. We're going to own these other things. Let's go back to the scripture. What does it say? Let's go right back to the scriptures. Look, look. And the house of Israel shall possess them. Remember, possess. Let's go, let's go back to the definition. Meaning, we're gonna own these nations, right? We're gonna, well, look, we're gonna take over these nations, right? We're gonna control, dominate. You see? You know? Look, that, look, that's what the definition just said. You know? Look, oh yeah, look, listen to this right here. Look, have complete power over someone. You know? We're going to have complete power and control over these nations, man. That's what the scripture is saying. That's what the scripture is saying, man. And the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord, Jerusalem, for servants and handmaids. And they shall take them captives. Whose captives they were. He Remember, he that leadeth in the captivity shall go into captivity and they shall rule. We just read that, right? And look, and they shall rule over the oppressors. The, look, a message to all you nations. We're gonna rule over you soon. Come. He that doeth wrong shall receive for the wrong which he have done. Look, and there's no respect to person. I just want to bring out a couple of scriptures through the spirit of Yahweh by Shemar Shai. Lord willing, the elect is edified. A, a message to you nations might might do a part two. Shalom.